welcome back to BJ and Family Travels channel. Today, I'm gonna sharing with you our trip to wonderful island of Ibiza. We started our trip from Stuttgart Airport, and after a flight of two hours we arrived in paradise for the next eight days. We were very eager to dot cover the island and what it has to offer. After 20 minutes with the transfer bus we arrived to our hotel. San Miguel Park situated in the Nord region Labricia from Ireland. A hotel very nice and suitable for families with children. But of course you can find on my channel a separated video with this hotel and what it offers. Being very close to beach, we decided for the first day to stay here and to exploring the San Miguel Beach. San Miguel Beach is located in a small bay formed between rocks and offer a beautiful view to the Balnear Sea. On the beach you can rent for 24 euro two sunbeds with an umbrella, quite expansive, or you can simply lay your towel on the sand and relax. Around the beach you can find many terraces and restaurants where you can order foods. There are many shops, of course, with beach articles or souvenirs. The next day we rented a car to explore the island. This was a Jeep Avenger perfect for the mountain zone of island. Our destinations for today are San Antonio and the beautiful and the famous rock ES Vidra. Let's see together what we discover here. San Antonio is one of the biggest and famous city of Ibiza. Here are many famous nightclubs and the beautiful beaches from Ibiza Island. I will let you enjoy some imagines from this beautiful city and the beaches around him.
After we walking around in the San Antonio, we continued our way to the famous rock ES Vidra. S. Vidra reaches a height 382 meters and is designated as a nature reserve and she is uninhabited. There are many myths and rumors around the island S. Vidra. One of them is that she is the last visible part of Atlantis. Others report UFO sightings. Although the road to the viewpoint is very bad, the view is special and deserve all the effort to get here. We took here some great pictures. I recommend you to visit that place. The next stop on our way was a small city ES Cubals. Along the entire coast of Ibiza, you can stop and admire the beauty of the sea. Nothing's compares with the sunset from the famous beach barinas. Here to the rhythms of drums. People dance and sing until the sun hides in the sea. I was so happy to be here at the right moment.
At the third day, we decided to visit more beaches along the coast. The first was Calabasa Beach Club, a fancy place where only the rich can afford to pay 300 euro for sunbed on the beach. The next beach where we stopped was San Vicente Beach, a very beautiful place for relax and swimming. The color from the water is amazing. It's a very quiet beach and smoking is not allowed. On our way to the next beach, we stopped to admire a beautiful lemon grove. The beach Igua Blanca is wild and unpopulated, the perfect place for silence. Here many people are naked and free. Is a beach more for couples or singles? S. Canar Beach. Here we stop for relaxing and swimming with our kids. The beach is ideal for families. Here you can find everything. Food, drinks and ice cream.
On the last day when we had the car we proposed to visit some towers which are everywhere on the island. The first was Torre de Portinats, a place very nice where you can enjoy the beautiful views on the sea. A very important objective that should not be missed is the Cave Kinmarka, a very old cave used by pirates in the past to hide the treasure. I don't quite a much about the caves, but I was fascinated that what I saw and I liked a lot. And finally the last destination was a hike road to the Torre de Molar of the coast from San Miguel. It was a real challenge to climb to the top among the rocks. But the satisfaction was the final, to see the beauty of island from the top. And with that I finished this video. I want to thank you for your patience. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be up to date with the next destinations around the world. Have a nice day.